Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim. I wanted to do a flip through of my uh, newest journal and the digitals are from Wild Rose Bohemian. Um, this is my design team project and it's for August and I'm running late, but um, I did want to do a flip through. This will be a Christmas gift for my stepdaughter. Um, I still got a lot more to add to it, but this is just the basic stuff. Um, it'll be more personable and have some pictures of family and stuff for her, but I didn't want to do that publicly, so I'll finish it off. But I made the little tassel and it comes off. It's just on a little clip. And I got some buttons and some dangles and different ribbons and laces. And I'll sit that aside. I made this into a book um, type form and not a soft cover. It's kind of a hard cover and it has a spine. And I did some sewing around and I glued it down with some extra. And I still may go back and put maybe a strip of fabric or something on it. I'm not real sure. And then it's got um, the little ribbon. This is ribbon that I've taken the wiring out of and used it. And then one of my little clip-on flowers. And um, little metal butterfly. And I have no clue where I got all this stuff. Um, at one point, I was collecting um, sunflower different sunflower stuff and asking for that in racks and different trades and things. So I've been collecting for probably about a year and a half and still just now making her journal, but just some seam binding. One of the digitals I thought was really pretty. Um, and just put some little, um, flat back pearl beads around it and little flower with some backing. You know, I had to put just a little bit of lace somewhere. <laughs> And then we'll just get into it. Like I said, I've got stickers and just things I've been uh, creating along with the um, Sunflower Digital Kit. This just says, this book, book belongs to. And then the journal and then some little um, stickers that I put on there. That's a piece of the ephemera. These kits, it's a, just a lot in these kits, so there's plenty. You could have gone either the blue and um, yellow, but I went with the kind of more natural colors. That's just a sticker, and then one of the little flower stickers that I glued on, just some little ribbon. I made a pocket out of some, um, I think this was a folder that I used. Look how pretty. Just some tags that you can just flip them over and write on the back of them. This I um, thought turned out really pretty. I love the stickles. There's a little writing place and just a butterfly, some washi tape. And I also decorated around the um, pocket. Put some little bling, rick rack. Here's another pocket. Look at that little cheeky. So cute. This is a little fabric pocket right here. And then I put some napkins in case she wanted to decoupage. And then behind those, just a butterfly stamp. And this is on coffee stain paper. I have a ton of scrapbook paper. paper. I'm sure you guys do also. And I took some of this. feels like a wallpaper, but it's not. It's, I don't think. It's some kind of scrapbook paper that I got in a pack. And then the 12 by 12 sheets we all have. This is a sticker. I did this into a um, pocket and it has some more of the pretty digitals, ephemera, journaling cards. And I made a pocket and sewed that. And then this is just an old um, playing card. I love and collect these. So I like using them. Some more pretty sunflower ephemera. This is, um, I used some Ritz dye. And this was a green color, I believe. And I mixed it with some blue. I, don't, I was trying to get like a lighter 
blue. Maybe this like teal, but it, it's darker, but it still blends pretty well, I think. And that's some fussy cuts. Another journaling card. And then a piece of um, embossed paper. And then I used one of the fussy cuts and then just laid a little um, clear sticker on top. More uh, ephemera pieces. And then I had stitched this way to make it look like a little vine. This, I was wanting to find some little smaller um, sunflowers, but I, I have some somewhere. I just have no idea where they're at. So I just went ahead and put that right here like it's going up. And it's the big head sunflowers, the huge ones. We'll say that. And then just a little um, ephemera. You, you open the door and you're looking out into a window into the field and then right through here this is the first signature this is three signatures i usually make two but this is three just some charms that i've put on there that's the page like i said i still got some things that i want to add to it it was just getting a little bit big that's just an index um flower with the fussy cut that's just a little um, six by six paper I think that's six by six paper pad that I've gotten with the sunflowers these are um, part of the digital ephemera another gorgeous journaling card pocket with a little bit of lace I did not use a lot of lace I'm trying to get away from with a few journals, not losing, using so much lace. Little rain boots, because you need those when you're working in sunflower fields so your feet don't get muddy when you're picking all those beautiful sunflowers. Here is, um, I made this into a belly band, and that's a little sticker. This is an old um, reading card, flower, word card. I can't think of the name of it. I thought that went well in there. I've had that for a long time. Butterfly on some of the beautiful um, kit papers. And I stuck some little butterflies and a dragonfly right through here. Thought that turned out cute. I like those. And I may go back and do a little bit of um, uh, the stickles. Just made a little tab out of some of the fabric. This is just a little flip that I put on here. And you can write, you can even put right in a white jelly pen. That would be pretty. More with a little butterfly. Look at this, this is one of my favorites. I love it, love it, love it. And this is a Tim Holtz die cut. More washi that I had. And I always put glue on the back of my washi tape so it'll hold. Little guest checks. I love, love, love these. This is a doily I had that was a sunflower. And this is getting tangled. So let me see if I can get those. It's got a little hummingbird, a little birdhouse, um, butterfly, and a clear heart dangles look at that gorgeous this is just some more uh, ephemera she will know what this means it's a little lizard and this is a card that I had I'm not sure where I got this from it may have been a paper pad I'm not sure but it's kind of thick some more um little die cuts and I think I got these um the paper studio at Hobby Lobby and also the butterfly and I glued him down she she likes she raises chicken so this will be really neat for her and just recently started um with the bees beehives beekeeper I love this so pretty and I made a tag I still yet need to do a topper because this is not to write on. It's just kind of, um, just for looks. And I sewed around it. 
Here's another little flip, and I just cut the die, uh, the ephemera piece butterfly over. Put it like that. Here's another card, um, actual card that I just cut off. This, and put this right here in the signature. Another piece of the ribbon. And this some more washi tape. I think this is coffee dyed. Then this is some envelope and more of that six by six paper pad, I think, or maybe a 12, I think it's six, but little things I put in there and you can write or it looks like an envelope. More writing paper. I love this kid. It has so many places to write and then it's got the um, digital pretties around. So lots of writing space in there. More great ephemera. Little pocket to put those in, and then I just put some um, a little bow and a piece of the um, I can't think the name of that, but y'all know what it is. And then this is another one of the um, cards, and I just glued that on, and you can write. And it's pretty, it's a thick tag. One of the little bumblebees, and then it says creative washi tape, and it's got the little bumblebee. And I received this in some happy mail, and I used it because I love this. It's the sunflower. Um, every day is a new beginning. And this I put, um, this is a, using this as a belly band. This is a pretty little uh, vintage bird card that I've kept. And it's got the sunflowers and then the yellow bird. Her favorite color is yellow, by the way. This is a piece of... I want to say, I'm not real sure, it kind of looks like wrapping paper, but it's a little bit thick to be wrapping paper, so I'm not really sure what that is. And then one of these cute envelopes, and I'll put the bow here, and I just put like a little closure. I don't have anything in there yet. I will put some of her um, family photos in this. More writing space. This is just some decorative paper off of maybe a pad. I'm not real sure. It's pretty thin. And this is kind of like a double pocket. That's more of that um, paper I had. The 12 by 12 that I just cut. And I made like a double pocket and put some um, lace trim right through here. This crochet trim. Some more washi tape. This, I love this. I think this is so pretty. Another one of the cards that I'm in love with. And then I just kind of made the butterfly into a little um, side tuck. And then this is a little journaling card. And I cut the uh, butterfly in two and put one on this side and one on that side. And then you have journaling space. That's just a little pocket side pocket side tuck that's the envelope and then this is a stamp i had and i just kind of colored in it another stamp and this um i've made a while ago but it's just got its own corrugated cardboard and it's got different little fabrics and stuff but this is this is cute i thought it's got a butterfly and it's got the yellow but I have no problem keeping secret. It's the people I tell. <laughs> I thought that was cute. And she's kind of sarcastic. Um, sense of humor, so she'll love that. And then that is it. Another um, thick um, die cut with another one of the little paper roses. I mean, paper sunflowers that I had. And like I said, the back is pretty plain. And I'm thinking about putting something else just to make sure that holds because I'm kind of worried. I'm not sure. I think I made it a little bit too short, but I will fix it. You know us crafters, we can fix it. And it just ties back like that and you can do whatever with this little clip. She'll enjoy that. She'll figure out something to do. And then I also made this little brown paper bag. Let me get this out of the way. And it just has like a ton of ephemera in it. 
just go through with another one of those dollies. Look at that door. Love it. Yellow door. Her favorite color is yellow. I said that before, huh? <laughs> that. Some magazine strips. Vintage book. Some more vintage book. Stickers. I think she'll enjoy. She likes to craft, so I think she'll enjoy um, playing with these. Stickers and another little magazine piece. And some more. So I had fun with this kit. Beautiful kit. Tons and tons. Huge kit. You can do so much with it. But um, thank you again, Rose, for making such a beautiful kit. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll uh, link everything, the description um, to the kit below. She also has a face group. I'll link that below. You will have to ask to join because it's private. And once again, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.